Current estimates suggest that there may be as many as two there? trillion galaxies in the observable as a scientist, universe. I think about that statistically, and I think the chances All of it, in more. terms of pure likelihood, there are, at least are 10 times extraordinarily more galaxies. This means there could thought, be as many as about 100 million stars in an average stars. galaxy in the observable universe. Where is everybody? This later became known as the oh, Fermi problem or paradox, which is the apparent contradiction Perhaps between the lack of evidence for question. extraterrestrial life are we alone? and the high estimate probability for their existence, if there are other civilizations out there. But where is everybody? No one knows for sure, but our view of the universe has where changed drastically in the past century. As NASA has explored our solar system and beyond, it has developed increasingly sophisticated tools to address our endless curiosity for the possibility of life existing elsewhere in the cosmos. The prevalence of life in the galaxy. It may be that intelligence is rare in the cosmos. Intelligence, intelligence as we have, as defined, we have it, defined it has shown up nowhere in the fossil That record. intelligence can't be all that important for survival. The universe. Whatever is preventing non-living matter from undergoing abiogenesis, in time to expanding lasting life as measured by the Kardashev scale in the context of the Fermi paradox is known as the Great the Filter. Great filter. The, great filter. the failure to find any extraterrestrial civilizations in the observable universe implies the possibility something is wrong with one or more of the arguments from various scientific disciplines that the, the appearance filter. of advanced intelligent life is probable. But where this is observation everybody? is conceptualized in terms of a great, great filter, filter which acts to reduce the great number of sites where intelligent life may arise to the tiny number of intelligent species with advanced civilizations actually observed. So Economist Robin Hansen described a list of nine steps in an evolutionary path that results in the colonization of the observable universe. According to the great, great filter, filter hypothesis, at least one of these steps must be improbable. In fact, Are you can continue this to its extreme universe? and say it may be that intelligence is just the right thing to have to render yourself extinct. And the only things that appear to likely keep us from step nine is some sort of catastrophe via it self annihilation. To destroy itself. Dr. Johnson says extraterrestrials may not even bother since we're so young Earth. and unevolved. Probably thousands or millions of years more advanced than we are. And that really makes you think, why would they come by but for a visit? But the hope that we may someday make contact remain. The James Webb Space Telescope. It seems we're at the dawn of a new chapter in human history. No one knows for sure. Given the current pace of innovation and how fast technology advances, it is entirely possible we could find life elsewhere within the life of the present Hansen's generation. Hansen's list, although incomplete, provides solace to the seeming paradox of Fermi in an attempt to answer the question, are, are we, we alone, alone in, in the, the universe? universe?